We wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the leadership of our mayor and council. And I do want to recognize them at this time. Uh, this process started about four, four and a half years ago or so. And you know, once we got it to mayor and council, they wasted no time in giving us the direction and green light to get this. I'd like to recognize Mayor Ed Honey. Mayor, thanks for all your support. Vice Mayor John Post, thank you, John. Thanks for all your support and leadership. Herb Kai, thank you. Thank you, Herb. Greatly appreciate all your help. Patty Comerford, Patty, thank you very much. Roxanne Ziegler, Roxanne, thank you very much for all your support. And Jackie Craig, Jackie, thank you very much. They've been stellar for the whole process. And John Officer, John, thank you very much. And, uh, an interesting fact about John Officer, he, I think he's the only elected official in the state of Arizona who has walked the entire Arizona Trail. So as a park and rec guy, John, you know, we, we really admire that. So we did want to recognize, uh, just, I'll do a, a pretty brief, uh, oh, I thought that was normal. We had a generator on the back there. Uh, but what we did, I just want to give you a little overview this morning, because I think it's kind of cool what everybody has worked on to try to make happen here, is, um, so the Mayor Honey's going to uh, have a few comments. We're going to do some tours uh, afterwards, but the first thing that we're going to want to do is and we're going to ask Mayor and Council to go over and sign it first, but Bree Lewis, Bree, I'm going to ask you to raise your hand. Bree's going to kind of oversee the signing of the beam. We're going to ask everybody to sign the beam, and then what we want to do is while you are all here, we're going to, we're going to hoist the beam and put it in place. So we thought it'd be kind of fun to add that to it. Originally, we were going to do it later, but we thought it'd be a lot of fun to have everybody here. And so we're going to fly the beam when everybody's here. And uh, Tracy from uh, Chase is going to give us some safety instructions. You know when we basically when, when we'll do that. After that, we we would like to you to stay and do some tours. And we have four super knowledgeable people. I'm going to ask them to raise their hands. I'm going to do the tours. Tracy from Chase, superintendent, project manager, Andreas. Peter Nimmer, our project manager from Abacus, and Mike Russo, who's also the architect who designed the police station. So Mike's got a long and really great history with us. Uh, a sidebar note too, just a really quick recognition of town staff, our CIP staff, they've done a heck of a job. There's a couple of projects in the state that are very comparable to what we're doing, and they've lost three to five months in their job. And we've had some curveballs. I mean, this job has had some, some challenges, but due to the teamwork and due to the town uh, coordination with CIP and our trade partners and Chase, uh, we have made up and we are on schedule. So, you know, uh, 10 months into construction, we're happy to report to you today. We're on schedule to finish this up in late March. And as I said, some colleagues in the state weren't that fortunate. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce our mayor, Ed Honey, and say a few words. Wow, what a great day. I can tell you, there, there are so many things that have happened in our community, whether it's building the town hall or building our beautiful new police headquarters. But I think this might be the one I'm the most proud of because what this is is something that will serve every man, woman, and child in our community. There were so many people that were working on this and uh, I, I want to give some people credit one of the people that kept saying we need a community center recreation center was Roxanne Ziegler. And this is about six or seven years ago. And she kept saying, and I said, can't afford it, we can't do it, we can't do it, we can't. Well, we went on a retreat, what, three, four years ago. And we just decided we were going to build a recreation center. We'd figure out how to do it. Well, as it turned out, we did a half cent sales tax. The people in our community don't have a problem with that, and we're building this facility. Uh, Patty Comerford and I were at an AAAD conference, and there was a lady there from Chase, and I don't know if it was Leanne. It's been a while, and I don't see that well. And she was saying, we're bidding on this job, and we really hope we get it. And we both told her, you know, we don't, award the contracts or anything else. I'm glad Chase did get the contract. They're doing a beautiful job. I, if you take two or three days to drive by this, uh, 
what they're building here, there's you can see a noticeable change. And this is something that is going to live on in our community long past us. But I, I am so thrilled. It's such an honor to have this here today. Uh, I said, this will be my third beam. I signed one for the town hall, one for the police station, and one here. And by the time they tear it down 100 years from now or something, they won't even know who we are. But, you know, but uh, what, a, what a great day. Uh, Park and Rack, Jim and Wayne and all of their staff have done a phenomenal job. Chase has done a phenomenal job. And it's, it's just something that I think we will be proud of forever. So thank you for the good work. Thanks. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you very much. Uh, there's two other people that I really think need to be recognized. Uh, I said it at the groundbreaking, but it was a real blessing for us that Terry Rosma became the town manager uh, when we were early on in the process. And boss, we want to thank you for your leadership through the process. Really appreciate it. And he's a very modest person, but Kurt Schmidt from CIP, our project manager, I know he'll be mad I said it, but Kurt, we appreciate your uh, your conscientiousness and you know just one other really quick comment and we'll we'll start with the beam signing but uh joe parsons here today um local resident of marana and you know the the pride that you know he takes uh is a uh is a professional construction person and a provider of the steel is i think reflected of the the pride in the community as joe talks about his grandkids you know will be using the facility i predict that young man will be doing Tomahawk slam dunks on the basketball court someday. <laughs> but Joe, we appreciate your good work and your support. So, so again, uh, Bree, if you come forward, because we did want Mayor and Council to go with Bree first. We wanted Mayor Honey and Council Member Officer and the, and the team to go with, with Bree first, and they'll sign, and then everybody else will sign. And then at that point, uh, Chase is, they really had a great game plan to lift this and fly it. And uh, Tracy from, uh, from Chase, Trace, Trace is going to, Trace, maybe give, give the gang a little safety right now so everybody knows what we're going to do. Because, yeah, I mean, this obviously, this is, this is serious stuff. We don't want anybody to get hurt. One step. All right, so we'll give everyone a chance to sign. Uh, once we've done that, I'll have everyone move back probably along the sidewalk here, just beyond the tents. Once we pick it, it goes airborne. We're gonna swing it around. Um, once it's close to in place, you guys can come back underneath the tents so you guys can watch it go in. But when we initially pick it, um, I'll get back on the mic and I'll just bring everyone back here to the sidewalk. Yep, five, thank you. Thanks, Trace. And then the last thing is the gentleman, if you'd raise your hand, was gonna do the tours. Mike, Andreas. Peter, Tracy, they'll be back in this area right here after we put the, the beam in place. It's a really cool tour. If you have time, we'd love to walk you through it because you can actually start to identify areas. So without further ado, Bree, any words from you? You good to go? Okay. If Mayor Council could come up with Bree to do the formal signings, and then if everybody else can, uh, Bree will uh, basically have it nicely organized. And again, thanks a lot for being here tonight.